What's up, Buck fans? We're back again with another Buccaneer film study. Today will be Sean Murphy Bunting, the Buccaneers' young second-round cornerback from last year. Plus, what do you think about him? Yeah, Sean Murphy Bunting is like, uh, I'm really impressed with his season, but you know, you go back to the draft and you see his name come across the board when they selected him, and you're like, who? And uh, <laughs> he's just... He's just very athletic. Uh, you know, he's got good size. He's got good length, and he can make a lot of things happen. I, I like his, you know, just intellectual um, ability to you know read things, and he really got better as the season went on, and, and really became a staple of the defense. But yeah, really good rookie year for him, as you see there. He had, you know, eight pass defense. He had three interceptions as well, plus a touchdown. So did a really good job of doing a little bit of everything, and can't wait to see what he can bring in uh, year two. Yeah, you said it there. Did a little bit of everything. And then I just kind of brushed over. He had a 4'4", 240, 41 and a half inch vert. The dude's an athlete. Yes, a little six foot 195. But according to his Twitter, the dude's put on 12 pounds. So he's got some size to go along with that length and speed. Three interceptions, one took it to the house. I mean, this is some good stuff. Guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Help us out down below. And with that said, let's get into the film. Okay, guys, let's go over what everyone wants to see first. Obviously, it's the, the big plays, interceptions. Here's his first interception of the year. You're going to see him right here matched up against Kamara. Obviously, a hard cover in open space. He pretty much gets lucky with this interception. There's a bad placed ball, but he's right there, Johnny on the spot to make an interception and knows what to do with it. What would you like from that, Bless? Yeah, again, like you said, just being – uh, around the area where he needed to be um, and good awareness to understand that, you know, it was an ill-advised throw as a little bit behind uh, Kamara. Kamara can't come up with the catch and just good awareness to, you know, finish the play there, make the catch and then, you know, get some yards. Those, those boys are happy with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to see it here, corner of your screen. I'll stop it here and slow it down. Just a bad throw pretty much behind him. Kamara just doesn't secure the catch. Again, Lucky, but hell, you, sometimes you need luck to get your first interception. Mm -hmm. This is later in the year against the Jaguars. I thought this was a very heady play. You see him right here in front of you in the screen. Ryan Smith is right next to him. They're pretty much just going to do a cross. You're looking for the defenders to get confused, not knowing who to cover. This is pretty much what happens, but Sean Murphy Bunting stays in his zone, realizes it, trying to tell Ryan, Ryan Murphy to get over, ends up with the pick. Mm -hmm. Right yeah, up. again, just yeah, it's it's just awareness, and and that's something that I think we've seen with all the corners. I mean, we've done breakdowns on Carlton Davis and and Jamel Dean, and they all kind of have similar traits as far as you know, just being aware of where the football is, and then being able to make plays on it. And that's what he does here. He understands the cross right away, right, and then he's able to dig right in there and get you know enough in the way. I mean, the ball was coming out fast, so the receiver really didn't have a chance, but he does a good job of. You know, finishing the play and then smart enough to get, you know, at least a couple yards there, you know, not get a safety. Yeah, Carlson Davis actually pulls him out of this. I mean, it's, right. I don't know if this catches him or if he's tipping this. It's kind of hard to see it. But either right. way, heady player for him to actually know it's a pick play coming, get ready, get in the spot, come down with the ball. And then, yeah, he's probably getting nervous. Carlton Davis says, get the hell out of the end zone. <laughs> okay, so here I want to show this. Remember this play. So check the lineup. You have three on one side. You have one there, two there, three here. They push into zone, or they slide over the receiver. Murphy Bunting sees this, tells the safety. So this is a play where he got beat. It's an out route. John Murphy Bunting just behind it. Recognize it. This was in the first quarter. Now I believe this is the fourth quarter. Same play. Same exact lineup. Again, one, two, three. Sliding over. What does Sean Murphy Bunting see? It's going over, seems like the same route. So what is he gonna expect? An out route, this time I'm I'm there for you, and I'm taking it to the house. Like just play recognition, very smart, heady player. That's something I wanna really key in on on this this film study. What do you like? Yeah, and, th and that's something, I mean, you've seen it, I think pretty much with all his interceptions, they've been kinda, you know, after the first quarter or so, and he, he's understanding, he's recognizing plays, and. You know, this is a perfect example of it. You know, he just sees the same formation. He, he knows where he needs to be and can play aggressive, and that's an easy as it gets as far as touchdowns go. Right. From, I believe, Central Michigan as well. So, mm -hmm. in Detroit, again, just undercutting that ball. Hands catch. Corners can't catch. What are you talking about? 
and know what to do with it after. But it's also right. like he was reading this this play the whole way. Like he read the, the wide receiver this time, making sure it was going to be an out route, and then just mm-hmm. took it home. Yeah, no, he definitely ran the route. Right. This time, now he's in the slot or nickel corner. You've seen what he can do outside, inside. Reading the play, going deep. So he's using that four four two speed we showed in the beginning. So he's, you can't pit, you can't beat beat him with speed. You can't beat him with smarts. He's gonna be all over the place. And I like the second yeah. angle. Yeah, that's just really good right there. Um, yeah, as we see the second angle come up, you'll you'll see how he just continues to. Yeah, look at the fight there. A little shove right there, but it's it's good. You know, good ex, uh, veteran move. If you look at the little shove here from, from the rookie. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, a little shove from the left arm there by him kind of, you know, offsets the receiver a little bit and then able to make the play on the football. So really good job here. Doesn't yeah, doesn't grab. Yeah, it doesn't grab. Up. But but watch. Yeah, watch the shoulder here and the, the forearm there right there. It's a little nudge and that that case, you know, that causes the, the incompletion. Yeah. Gets up. Excited. <laughs> All right, so again, here he is outside. Watch his recovery speed. So it's a long, deep developing route. Then he's going to come across and in. How does he react to that? Let's check it out. Reading what's in front of him. You got to recover. This is a recovery speed. Knocks that ball down, middle of the field. He loves that one move. Yeah, really good footwork there by him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really good footwork here. Again, you're going to see just the awareness. Just re- always reading what's in front of him. He, he doesn't really mm-hmm. bite on too many things. Eyes are always looking at the quarterback. What's going to happen? Drew Brees could be could have baited another interception here. Drew Brees just floating this one in. Read, react. Just knocks it down instead of trying to catch that. Yeah, thing. I mean, you look at that footwork there. You look at the tr- uh, the transition and how he changes directions. Very seamless. Look at that. I guess even. Look at the leverage. So Drew Brees probably reads him. He's like, okay, he's got inside leverage. I can throw mm-hmm. this thing outside and, and my receiver should have an easier catch. But that transition, like you're talking about, flip the hips immediately, get back outside. No comebacks going to stop me. Knock that thing down. Right. Youthful, yeah. but he's got some knowledge to him. And then also. Yeah, really good. Look at this. There's, you don't even like that. Get... <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, keep going. Sean Murphy bunting. Here we go again. Just sticky. Like, there's no separation. There's no. There's no beating him. I mean, he tries to chop his hands down. Sean Murphy bunting stays there. Inside arm going with him. He's going outside. So drag with him. That's good. Really, really sticky player. What yeah, do you like? That's, no, I mean that's perfect technique, and that's what I, I really like about him. His technique is really on point. Just doing a good job of just yeah staying with this guy. Yeah. Again massive stickiness so this is against christian kirk i mean he did get beat once in this game by kirk but i mean it could have been a breakdown behind him as well check him in the slot here like just he never ever got any space for him and look how up close he is and personal sticking with him tapping that shoulder cuts look how quickly he's on him cuts with him there's no space no wasted movements what do you like yeah, again, I'll just continue to repeat the footwork. It's really good. And then just yeah, just head up. He understands what's going on. Runs the route pretty much with a receiver. Yeah, so a lot of people were you know, wanting big numbers and everything. Three interceptions, one taken to the house, and a sack. I mean, he's not getting big numbers, but overall, that's pretty good rookie season. Again, here, bottom of your screen, really close to the line. Is he giving up any leverage? Is he giving up any space? Hands on the guy, hands on body, moving with him. It's just eliminating one player. It's just the stuff that you don't see because the ball is going the other way, but still hustle on the player, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's well done. Very good execution. So I want to call these coverage sacks. Really good coverage. You're going to see Sean Murphy bunting, top of your screen. Just doing what he's doing. Ends up, Russell Wilson has nowhere to go with the ball. Cover sack, right? So it's even first move didn't work. He's already looking at where Sean Murphy Bunting's at. Vita Vea is doing his nasty thing. He has to roll out. Second move, he's still with him. Levante David cleans it up. 
Yeah, there's just nowhere to go. Then, you know, instant pressure as well. So really good job there. Yeah, you're going to see 350 pounds in your face. It's just <laughs> flat out, right? But it's just, but, again, yeah, go ahead. Just over all the corners, I mean, just really good as far as, yeah, again, this is what they call, you know, plastering, you know, making sure you're staying on your man just despite what's going on, you know, with the quarterback. Here again, here's another good play. Again, second coverage sack. You're going to see yeah. Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy bunting right here bottom of your screen. Watch him read what's in front of him, staying in his zone. He's letting his guy go off to the safety, deep zone. He's reading what this inside wide receiver is doing, just a short little out route here. Ryan Tannehill's reading where he's at, either a throw interception or take a sack. Yep. That's why he's so happy right here too. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. I mean, you see Ryan Tannehill, you know, with the pump fake because he's definitely going to that guy. But great job by Murphy Bunting, you know, taking that away. And, uh, you know, you know, you have pressure on, so. Yeah, look, pump fake. Nope, because why? I'm going to jump that route if you throw it. It could have been another pick six if you think about it. Yep. So a really good job there. It looks like we got the football back on that play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going up against Michael Thomas. And what is B.A. saying? He's pushing off, buddy. He's pushing off. <laughs> Heated. But, I mean, he does. I mean, just watch him top of your screen. No, it's far away but going 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 he's gonna extend those arms shove them but still right there recovery doesn't let him get the first down doesn't matter ba's gonna stand up for his player mm. yeah that's again another great play by sean murphy bunting just being in the right spot you know here again staying in his own slot great job of recognition you know just understanding what's coming at him I'm going to say it again, heady player. Yeah, he's just very in control of what, you know, what he needs to do. Doesn't, um, you know, play out of control. Not like he's not shifting all over the place. Yeah, he's just, again. And then sliding right under the right tackle. Yeah, no big deal. Just a really good tackle there. Yep, and looks like minimal gain. Yeah. Get to the ball carry before you can do anything. Right. Keep going down the line. Murphy bunting again, bottom of your screen now. Read and react. So this one's not going to his guy, but look where his eyes are the whole time. He's feeling the receiver coming towards him. Balls out to the guy underneath. Read and react. Where's the first down marker? Right here. Don't give up the first down. Throwing the hand up because he knows he did the job. Mm -hmm. Awareness, heady. How many times can I say it about the guy? Yeah, he's just really smooth with his footwork. Like he can backpedal so easily, but also keep his eyes, you know, upfield. So he just understands, you know, what he has to do here again. Another great play. He's going to read the the screen. Does a good job of not giving up leverage, making the play on the outside. And you always see Levante David all over the damn place, but still, um, okay. Again, he's in the nickel. He's going to take up a tight end. Already, he's moving downhill. He's not expecting anything else. Bodies his tight end, stands him up. 195 pounds, six foot, and now he's 12 pounds heavier. He's going to mow this guy over next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, a really good play. Can't wait to see what he can do in year two. Yep. Here again, just being aggressive. And just his, his reaction so quickly. So he knows where what's coming here. And able to, you know, take down, I believe that's Latavius Murray pretty yeah. quickly. He's, that's a bigger running back. Yep. And Tries to do a move a smart, again. Yeah, smart play. Square up. Don't yeah. over lunge, square up, bring him down. I like him. I like him, guys. Mm -hmm. So, again, here he is. It looks like this wide receiver is going across, so he knows there's an option he can blitz this time. So, he takes that option. Safety's going to pick up his wide receiver. And this is something he did a lot at the end of the season. Ball just mm -hmm. gets out quick. But just the ability for him to, to rush the quarterback from that nickel position. I didn't put it in either, but this is the sack he put he put up where he knocks it out of the hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really just... good job. But, yeah, overall, you're looking at Sean Murphy Bunting. He's a guy that can – I mean, we've seen him play inside, outside. He can rush the passer on, on blitzes, as you see here. Um, so just really good overall player that really got better as the season went on. And I can't wait to see what he can do in year two, especially with another year of film study. And, you know, as you, you said earlier, he's, he's added some weight. So 
yeah, really excited what he can bring. And I'm really excited overall about this secondary group. It's, it's going to be fun to watch. Absolutely. And the young guys are going to grow together. With that, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do for us. Hope you enjoyed the film study. Until the next one.